wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hello and welcome to Mark and Kelly's trips, tips and things. So we're on the road again. We're for another afternoon tea adventure. Yes. But before we do, please like, share and subscribe. It helps us make more videos and you know we love making videos for you guys. Don't forget, you can join us on our live chat as I'm avoid all the Trying puddles. To meander around. Oh no, right around on the thing. Uh, every Tuesday, you can join us on our live chat every Tuesday and every Friday, 6.30 UK, 6 UK time. And if you like trips, tips, reviews, or anything like that, and you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. So, we are off to... Ah, oh, the Chesterfield. We're off to the Chesterfield. We're looking forward to this afternoon tea. Uh, we are going to go there right now and you can see the delights that they have in store. And if you're looking, if you do enjoy this video and you're wondering what the closest station is, it's actually Green Park and it's just off of Barclay Square. But we're going to show you right now. So here is the original sweet shop afternoon tea. It's £65 per person. So you've got a selection of homemade sandwiches. You've got the honey roast ham with cheddar, tomato chutney, tomato bread, roast chicken with grain mustard, mayonnaise, and almonds. You've got the Scottish smoked salmon, the free range egg mayonnaise, and of course the cucumber cream cheese and dill. The selection of pastries you can see there. I'm looking forward to this Reese Pieces buttercup and the Coca Cola slice. You've also got the drumstick, the cherry love heart, the blue raspberry bubble gum giant jazzies and the rhubarb and custard shoe bun fantastic also with the uh of course the traditional scones you can also upgrade if you want a champagne afternoon tea for 75 pounds You've seen the bubbling there is absolutely fantastic so what's on top of here is a saucer and in this is the pink lemonade so they recommended that you take the flying saucer and then you drink the pink lemonade yeah. on the top so are you gonna do you're gonna be brave oh, let me try it so for those of you not familiar the flying saucer is a very popular British swoon yeah and it's got uh, sherbet inside okay now you're supposed to take the shotgun, right? They do say, obviously, do not, that's dry ice outside it, so you don't take the dry ice. Kelly's gonna do the shot. Oh, you've done the whole shot. Good. Mm. Mm. Very nice. I, I have a little. <clears throat> you know what's the sherbet? Got ah, a little okay. Bit. So, tangy. 
Yeah, it's been like ages since I've had sherbet, I suppose. But I remember eating loads of sherbet, uh, loads of um, flying sauces when I was a kid. And so it brings back to mind sort of like going to Four Boys. If you guys are old enough to remember Four Boys news agents, and I'd get a load of flying saucers. There you are. Right. So on the tongue. Um. That pink lemonade is really sweet. Yeah. And it does remind you of sweets. That real sort of candy type flavour. Like school. It reminds mm. me of school. It's um, it's very nostalgic. Very nice touch by the chef. Yeah. So they've got a great selection of teas here. I love this, the bespoke licorice tea and the fruit salad tea. I'm gonna go for the fruit salad tea. Here's a list of the others where I think Kelly has decided to go for the Chesterfield chocolate tea, which we'll be doing as well, but really, really nice selection of teas they do have at the Chesterfield. Right now with the fruit salad tea, it's actually got real pieces of fruit in it. So this will actually infuse uh, for the flavor. I'm going to give this a try, but I'm really looking forward to this. This is your traditional stand today. So if we start with the sandwiches first, if we start with the pink one here, this is our smoked salmon and cream cheese sandwich on beetroot bread. Mm -hmm. If we come to this section over here, we have the ham and cheese sandwich, but it ain't no classic. This mm -hmm. one is on sun dried tomato bread and it has tomato chutney inside as well. Oh, wow. Tastes the equivalent to a pizza, it's very yummy. Nice. And then if we go to this sandwich over here, uh, the green sandwich. So this one is our egg and cress filling and it is on spinach bread. And then if we go to the last sandwich there, we have um, cucumber and cream cheese, and this is on white onion bread. And then you'll find one more sandwich on the top, and it's a circle shape. So this one here is our plain white bread. It's got chicken and mustard filling. It's rolled in a light mayonnaise, and then it is covered in nibbed almonds. Oh, wow. Nice. Very yummy. And then if we move on to our middle section here, we have a plain scone, and we have a chocolate chip scone. Uh, this is followed by some fresh clotted cream, and our chef's homemade strawberry jam. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you, you so can get much. A little shot. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. And then if we move to the uh, desserts over here, so we have the Coca-Cola slice we have the cherry cheesecake inspired by the love heart sweet on the top just there we have our shoe pastry bun and the filling is rhubarb and custard we have our Reese's Pieces peanut butter cup we have our drumstick macaroon and then we have the Battenberg slice Wonderful. but this one isn't the original so our ah. uh, sponge flavors for today this is our blue raspberry and bubblegum flavored oh, wow. Battenberg slice yes and then last but not least we have a white chocolate lolly dark chocolate lolly and there's popping candy in there as oh, well oh wow so I can nice. see yeah to tuck into that popping candy yeah. And that's everything for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So if we start with the sandwiches first, we have the sun-dried tomato bread and then there is some roasted vegetables and rocket. If we come over to here, we also have the cucumber and cream cheese and that is with white onion bread. And then we also have the uh, smoked salmon and cream cheese sandwich on that's seafood bread. And then we have the um, egg and cress sandwich on spinach bread as well. And then the one on the top is also beetroot bread, but it has sun-dried tomato and goat's cheese, very, very yummy. Oh, lovely. Yes, and then if we go to the middle section, once again, we have the chocolate chip scone, the plain scone. It comes with our fresh cream, and it also comes with our chef's homemade strawberry jam. And then if we go to the top tip here, um, we have a kind of similar dessert to yeah. the traditional, but the only thing that's different, so I won't really explain all of it, um, we have these two here. So this is our chocolate and hazelnut slice, and this is our toffee and apple pecan. Oh, wonderful. It's very, very yummy. Good. Very nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. If you have a sweet tooth, I would definitely recommend the uh, fruit salad tea. It's Fantastic. Like, it's my personal recommendation. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, so mine's the fruit 
of salad. And it tastes just like the fruit salad smoothies. It just it's really nice. It's got a you've got the the, the fruit taste to it. Right. It's not too sharp, but it, it's weird as well. There's no sugar. I haven't got any sugar in here. But it's still sort of, it tastes sweet, if that makes sense. Like a, of a fruit salad. Mm. It's very reminiscent to a, a fruit salad sweet. It's Ooh. very nice. Mm. I definitely recommend that. So Kelly's going to try the the chocolate tea. Good. It's funny because it's like tea and it tastes of chocolate. And you would think maybe along the lines of hot chocolate, but it isn't. It's like a tea, but it's got like chocolate notes to it. It's really nice. Mm. Do you recommend? Mm. Right. Definitely recommend this. Yes, yeah, very nice. I said that's a recommendation for the chocolate tea. So now we're going to try the sandwiches and I am going to start off with what I think my least favourite might be, which is, you know, the classic cucumber. So, here's there we are. Oh dear, you don't want to... <laughs> don't want to lose that. There we are. To get the elegance right. <laughs> Now I know, Kate, you don't like cucumber. I mean, cucumber is a very strong taste for me. Mm, it's okay. It's one definitely one of the better cucumber sandwiches for sure. Okay. But I'm not a lover of cucumber sandwiches. All right, so that's an okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up. Mm, I'm gonna get the egg. Oh wow, that looks nice. So that's the egg. It does look nice and I like how interesting the bread looks as well. Yeah, I think uh, the lady was saying it's spinach bread. Mm. So yeah, we'll give this a try. Mm. Mm. I like it. There's a few herbs in there of some sort. Mm. Okay. I like the bread. <laughs> okay, that's a plus for the eggs. Okay, so this is the salmon. That's a um, very generous thing of salmon. Mm. Look how thick that is. I forget what bread it is. I love the colour of it. Mm. It's like a pink. Yeah. So, right, yeah. Salmon and cream cheese, I believe. Let's give it a go. Yeah, salmon and cream cheese. Mm. It is nice. The cream cheese is nice. Yeah. Good sandwich. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to try the next one. But I just wanted to say the um, salmon had an it was a little bit salty, so it had an aftertaste of salt. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's nice nonetheless. Mm, next one. This is the ham and cheese and it's on a tomato bread. That's actually one of the breads that I actually remember. Okay. Um, and so ham, cheese and tomato bread. Again, nice thick layers. Yeah, yeah. look at that cheese, quite thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Alright, let's try. Mm. 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 Yeah, it's Good. But you know what? I like a ham and cheese. I'm I'm about that. I'm all about the ham and cheese. Well, our waitress said this ain't no classic, so it, it mm. is that as well. It's not the classic ham and cheese. It is on fancy tomato bread. Mm. But like I'm, I like ham and cheese, but you know the type of ham and cheese I like, the special one. <laughs> Melt my cheese. Okay, so last but not least, the chicken. Oh, I like this one, it's like a roulade. Yeah, yeah, look at the nuts on it. Yeah, I'm trying to focus on it, there we go, look at that, it's got nuts on the outside. Yeah, I love it. A circular sandwich, look Ooh, at that. Nice. Alright, here we go. The nuts really add to it. Hmm. It's that lovely, you know, texture thing, if you're into textures. It's another layer of texture, it's really nice. It really lends itself to the sandwich. You know what? 
if it was a little bit spicy. It'd be even ah, better. So what's your favourite so far? You've tried all the sandwiches. Mm. I don't know. I, I like the ham and cheese, but I like the chicken. I like the nuts. Yeah, so I would say this one. Oh, right. Mm. The chicken one, chicken one it is. Mm. Here goes Mark now. He's going to try his sandwiches. Right, so I shall try and do them in the order you did them. So this is the cucumber mm. and cream cheese. <laughs> really good. Yeah. Is it stuck to the roof of your mouth? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Which is annoying. Perfect amount of cream cheese, not too much. Yeah. Really complements the um the cucumber as well. Slight, I think there's dill in that as well, which gives it a really nice um, flavour. That's really pleasant. Mm. Really, really nice sandwich. Mm. I am a fan of cucumber sandwiches. I really love that. It's one yeah. of the best I've had, actually. Oh, wow. Really good. Okay, so on to the second one. So this is the smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Very yeah. generous pieces of smoked salmon. Let's have a look at that again. Can you see? Really, really generous pieces of smoked salmon. Yeah, it's quite that thick. is great, yeah. Uh, and a very thin layer of cream cheese, which is good. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Now, I'm going to disagree with Kelly. I don't think that's salty. I think that's a really good. I had a salty aftertaste, though. That's that's what it was no, for me. No, I'm not getting No? That. No, I'm not. I'm going to say that's really good for me. But then again, our palates are different. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So I'm really enjoying that. That is delicious. One of the, again, the bread is delicious as well. It's very, very soft. Um, thin as well. Very thin layers of bread. Mm. So um, it's quite nourish. Very good. Nice. I'm going for the egg. I think. Oh no, that is egg. I thought that was corn for a little bit. What did you think it was? A little piece of corn, but it's not. It's egg. Oh. Uh, so it's egg, and I think that's. Is that basil in there? Oh, we're trying. No, it's not basil. I don't know if it's spinach, possibly. Hmm. You know what? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. I can taste a slight bit of pepper in there, which mm -hmm. gives it yeah, a yeah, yeah. dimension as well. Again, the bread is really nice, it's really soft. Uh, spinach complements it as well. That's a very good egg sandwich. Yeah. Mm. On to the next one. Right. So this, this is, it looks like pesto, and it's got um, child grilled peppers in there. Can you see? Oh. They've been char grilled. Oh, nice. Really looking forward to it. It looks like courgette to me. Yeah. Huh? Mind you. That's a bit rocket. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Really, really good. The pesto and the peppers together are wonderful. Nice. That's the best so far. Oh, wow. That is really, really good. Wow, 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 That's wow. Delicious. Wow. Now, last but not least. No. I didn't describe it because I didn't know what it was. That's goat cheese, nice. chutney, and also it's got a little bit of um, tomato in there. I had to try it. Just to know what it was. To know what it was. That, again, that's delicious. The last two are my favourites. Oh, okay. That goes, I love goat cheese. The strong flavour, but it goes so well with that caramelised onion in there. So the salmon and the roasted vegetables are your favourite? Yeah, this yeah. is a very close second. Oh, wow. It's very, very good. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Mm. Really. This is the most controversial bit. Do you go cream first or jam first? I'm going to go, yes. It's cream All and right. then jam. 
So I'm going Kelly's way. But before you do that, these scones are really soft. I've just cut through them. It was like cutting through butter. It was so, wow. so soft. Um, I just found them as well. They were really, really crumply soft. Uh, so I'm looking forward to these. Other ones we've had as well, they've been quite hard. You'll see from other videos that we've done, as I've cut through them, it's, it's almost snapped as they've opened. That was just like cutting through a soft bread almost, it was that. Now this is their homemade jam. Yeah, their homemade jam. I'd just like to point out as well, I like how we've gotten two jams and clotted crisps. Yeah, like yeah. some places you have to share, and I'm just like, huh? But, yeah, that's um, true. As a fact, I did think, oh no, I've taken half of it, and I realised it's all right, you've got yours. All right, okay. <laughs> this one's got a whole clump of strawberry on it, so I'm going to try it. Mm. Yeah, I clumped it onto that one. <laughs> that, those scones are so soft. Really? They're so fluffy. They are really, really good. Really nice. Now, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'm going to try these in a bit because. I'm a little bit full at the moment, so I'm allowing Mark to just... That is wonderful. Oh. It really is soft and fun. I'm just thinking, you know me and plain scones, because I like my sultanas mm. in my scones, so I wonder how I'm going to feel about it. Right, now, again, I'm going to, while we're here, we'll do both. So I'm going to yeah. go for the chocolate one. I haven't got much cream here. So again, I'm going to go for my cream. Well, he can pretty much have all of it, because he's got his own cream there. Exactly. Yeah, again, very good point that Kelly said, the cream, the fact that they give us cream. Yeah, um, both of us, yeah. It's good, right, I will put a little bit of strawberry jam in there. Well, what what little bit you have left. Yeah, <laughs> now what's good is they can see with the field the, the Yeah, there would the be the jam, jam. yeah. Mm. It's almost like a very nice chocolate cake. Wow. It's almost like a cross between a, I wouldn't say a brownie because a brownie's got a very sort of squidgy middle, yeah. it doesn't. But it, it's like a very light chocolate cake, that's delicious. That is one of the best chocolate scones I've ever had. That's wow. how good that is. I always prefer, I'm a traditional guy, so I prefer this plain, but the, this is delicious. Nice. So we have finished the sandwiches, but there's all of this to go. And you are... Oh, little still things. Got loads of, still got loads of things to try. Um, it probably I should have saved the hot chocolate till possibly the end um, because hot chocolate can be quite big, you know. But I really do like it. So yes, there you go. I, on the other hand, I've done the sandwiches, I've done the scones, I've just got the cakes to go. But I think I will have to help Madam here with her cakes. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Okay. So this is the scone, you you buttered, you buttered, you creamed it and then you put the, the jam on top. Yeah. Good. Good. On. It's got an almost cake like consistency. Yeah, it's very soft. Mm. Still a scone, but just very soft. Mm. Really, really nice, yeah. Actually, I've got to say, these are some of the nicest scones I've mm. ever had. They're really soft, really delicious scones. I would agree. Yeah, and the jam, the homemade jam is really good. Oh, so I have um, done the clotted cream on the chocolate scone with the jam. As you can see, it's properly dripping, so I'll have to catch it before it drops on me. So here we go. <laughs> Good. Mark's right. It's like a chocolate cake. Mm. It's really nice. <laughs> One of the best chocolate spells that I've tasted. Actually. Same here. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I've got to say these are really, really good. Mm. Um, we've had them before here many, many years ago, mm. but these have definitely improved, I think. Improved, yeah, for sure. Okay, 
Now, I have eaten a lot, so I am very full, but we are going to go for it for you. <laughs> right, okay. Let's go first with what I think will be my least favourite. This is rhubarb. Now, I don't, I'm not a fan yeah. of rhubarb, so I'm going to try this one. See it oozing out there. Let me just try a little bit. This is, so this is rhubarb and it's custard, I believe. I don't like um, So I'm I'm going to leave that one because I can throw it and I really don't like it. Um, if you like rhubarb custard, that will be for you. The shoe pastry looks delicious as well. I have tried it. I'm afraid this is just not for me. I really just don't like rhubarb. Let's do, on this one, I really want to, to try. So I think this is the peanut butter cup. And I love the way it's looked. Look at this, the chocolate box. Okay, let me try. I keep touching my hands, you're not supposed okay. to, it's with a fork. Oh wow, look at that, it's a moose inside, can you see? That is wonderful. Maybe I should eat it like this with the... Um... You can use your knife as well. No, it's okay. Oh wow. That is really lovely. There's a peanut butter mousse with chocolate top. That's the chocolate lid. And that's the peanut butter mousse. That peanut butter mousse is so light, it's so creamy. That is really, really good. Alright. That's my favourite by far, so far. Hmm. Did it, I've even got it on the top. Yep, yep. <laughs> That is wonderful. <laughs> Alright. Let me move on. Okay, this is the drumstick. So this is the drumstick macron. I think it's gonna be yeah, drumstick, yeah, drumstick later, yeah. I'm so sugared out. <laughs> But that is really good. It's very quick, uh, crunchy. Yeah. But it, it's got a soft centre as well. Yeah. I've definitely got sugar high at the moment with this. Um, but that's really nice. You can also taste the drumstick. So drumstick has been a British sweet for those who not familiar. But this is really delicious. <laughs> mm. That's really good. And it goes well with my fruit. Really salad, salad, yeah. salad tea. Okay. I'm not going to do them in order as they are because I want to try this one. So this is the chocolate one. Now this is unique to the vegetarian. I don't get the cola one because I think the cola's got jealous in, so Kelly will try this one. This is the chocolate. Oh wow, that is amazing. It's a really, really, really um, soft, chocolate but it's got so many nuts on the top can you see it's absolutely it's got it's such a squeegee chocolate but the nuts on the top that really adds to it that is absolutely fantastic now I've got a bit of a fullness bias at the moment because I am full but if you can see that it's almost like a ganache it really is delicious all the nuts are falling off and the nuts are toasted so it gives it another dimension that is really good. Really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea. So I know I should use the handle, but um, we're coming to the end. Okay, this is the toffee cake, and the, they, the late our waitress really recommended this one. So here we go. That is so good. That is really, really good. It's a soft toffee cake. Um, almost like a ginger cake. But you've got the toffee on the top, you've got the nuts on the top there as well. It's ever so, ever so light. If I wasn't so full, I would absolutely ram that, no problem at all. That is delicious, very, very nice as well. Um, I'm very finding it hard actually to find my favourite. These are some of the nicest cake selections I've had in Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we are nearly there. 
So I've left this one because this is one of my favourites, Battenberg. Okay. Here we go. Now I forget the two flavours uh, they were telling us in the world. So. I love Battenberg. Mm. The marzipan in that very strong. So I can't tell what the um, the flavour is. I'm gonna try and chuck a little piece of this without the marzipan, just to see what it's like, what the flavour is. Do you know what? I've got such a sugar high, I can't just. <laughs> but that is excellent. That's really, really good. All right. Last but not least, let me try the Jazzy's chocolate. That one's dark chocolate. Oh wow. That's a strong bit of chocolate. Right. If you don't like dark chocolate, that's not for you. The white one. Mm. Again, you need to be a chocolate fan. These are dark, these are chocolatey. Um, very, very nice. And they've got the sprinkles on them as well. Mm. And I'm going to finish off in here as a popping candy. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to work. No. No. There's no pop in there. Oh, oh, hang on. It's gone a bit soft. Yes, yeah, that's been, why it's the moisture it's in the air. Moisture in the air. It's gone a bit out, but I can hear it pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a very slight pop. Mm. That's really good. Um, so. <clears throat> Just quickly, uh, popping candy went down the wrong way. If you're going to ask me and press me for my favourite one, it's very difficult to say. These are all this one, this one, this one, and this one are absolutely outstanding, and so was the Macron. I don't like we were on customer phrase, so I did not like that one at all. Yeah. But the the rest were absolutely amazing. This I'm going to say, and I'm going to limp, these are the best cakes I've had in an afternoon tea. Oh really? That's how I'm going to say, that's how good I reckon. Wow, 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 wow. Fantastic. Everyone has been on the point. Um, the only reason I don't eat this, and the only reason is because I don't like rhubarb. But the rest of it was absolutely amazing. Okay, so I have a couple of different ones to mark and uh, one of them is this strawberry cheesecake which is based on um you know the what are the sweets called are they called kiss me quick sweets oh, yeah, i think they're the heart i forget what they're called. yeah so um yeah it, it's that so whatever that is that's what i'm gonna try first so let's go now Mark didn't get this one. Not too strong. Pretty nice. And you can taste <laughs> this in it. So I don't know, did we call them refreshers or something, yeah, something like that? Yeah, like I would call them refreshers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what they say. I forget what they're called. I, love, they're I think they're called love hearts. Are they called love hearts? I think they're called love hearts. Mm. And it does taste like that. So the next one I'm going to try. Ooh. Now this is the colour one. Again, I can't have this one because we've got gelatin in it. Yeah. So this is the next one I'm going to try. It's very soft. Like with the cheesecake one, it, it took a little bit of time to go through it, but with this one it was straight through. So let's try it. So this one's the cola one, isn't it? It also has the taste of cola bottles. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, definitely like the taste of cola bottles there. Um, I'm not a lover of Battenberg. Oh, it's one of, this is one of my favourites. This I absolutely love. So, I'm going to try it without the... So here we go. So I'm going to try the blue one. No. Mm, it's 
little bit hard. Not, not really. I don't find that hard at all. As it could be. Mm. Okay, not my favourite. Fine. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Alright, again, I find it a little bit hard. It's not my most my favourite. This one for you. Mm -hmm. I find it difficult to get this flavour across the board because we've had so many sweets already. And you can taste the drumstick flavour, but it, it took a while for it to come through for me. <laughs> You know what? It's fighting with the almond taste of the macaron. Yeah. That's why it's difficult to, to taste. Mm -hmm. right. What do you think? Are you giving your verdict? It's okay. Not. Thank you. I mean, I can take or leave that. It's not. It's only okay. And that's not because I'm full, by the way. Mm. See, my, I'm really Being wasted. full does not detract from my taste palette. Okay, so the next one you're doing is the coconut cup. Is coconut, it, sorry, it no, coconut? Pe peanut, sorry. No, it's peanut. I think it's got peanut mousse in it. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, you can see the peanut mousse. Yeah. You can really taste that peanut. It's delicious. That Surely you can agree on this. It's really strong. Do you know? I don't like the chocolate. Oh my I, You know what it is? Not I don't like the chocolate. The chocolate's too dark. I feel like it needs to be like a lighter chocolate. See, yeah, I disagree. To go, with, I, to go with the peanut. I disagree. I thought that chocolate complemented so well. See, the peanut's great. The peanut mousse is delicious. Love that peanut mousse. I really did enjoy that. But for me, the chocolate detracts from the peanut mousse. I'm not a lover of the dark chocolate with it's too bitter you have a sweet and then you have a bitter and you're trying to and i'm not so sure about that okay right are you gonna go for the rhubarb i don't know about this rhubarb business try just try the cream in it i did i couldn't eat it though but kelly's like me we do not like rhubarb yeah and but i'm gonna try it anyway just try it all right well, I can't taste any rhubarb. Really? That's the first thing. But it tastes much. It's because you, you don't like rhubarb. Rhubarb is quite sour. It's got no, quite... I, get, I get that, but it, it, it's like a thick. The, the cream is very thick. It, I can't. Um, my brain is trying to work out. Like what type of cream is it? It can't. It, it's not. It's not a custard. It's not a mousse. It's not a. I don't know. I think my brain is confused of trying to work out what the actual. First of all, what the taste is, and yeah, I don't know. Trying to work out what the textures are. So I'm not so sure about that one. All right. Last but not least. Well, I say last but not least. Here are the. Um, Shall we try your one? Well, you me. can have the fresh one. Okay, so this is the nice white chocolate. No. The dark chocolate. I'm not a lover of dark chocolate, as you know. It's a strong dark chocolate. I don't think you'll like that. Yeah, 
Now I'm getting the aftertaste of dark chocolate. Not really my thing. But to be fair, it's very difficult to please me where sweets are concerned. Yes, we've seen. <laughs> yeah, it's very. I'm, I can't I'm, believe you don't like any of those. I don't it's not that I don't like them, they're only okay. Yeah, I totally disagree. These are some of my favourite cakes I've had. <laughs> Did you get a slight pop? I got no. very, very slight pop. Not even a slight. Yeah, that's a shame with the popping candy because it just has. I think the popping candy needs to come out last. Last. Yeah. The thing about popping candy is that if it's been sitting there for a while, there's no pop anymore. So it's very, very difficult. It's okay. Um. The sandwiches and the scones for me were the things that were on point about the afternoon tea. The sweets, like I said, it's very, very difficult to please me with regards to sweets, so I could take or leave it. But, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I will go for. So Kelly is choosing the sweets. You're allowed three options from here, so she's going to pick them through here, and obviously they're going to weigh them as well. So you've got love hearts, blackjacks, fruit salad, sherbet lemons, and maybe some of the raspberry bombs. Which ones you're going for? Maybe some of the strawberry. Oh, she's going for the sh strawberry gummy hearts as well. The lady's just gonna filter them through. So once you've done your afternoon tea, you can help yourself, well, not help yourself, but they will actually get you some of the sweets of your choice. You're allowed three sweets, or three choices of sweets here. And then they'll bag them up there. How cool is that? I don't know any other afternoon tea that does the sweets for you. So there we are, there is the Chesterfield right there. We've just finished, what did you think? I, do you know what? We've been coming to the Chesterfield for mm. many years. Um, I think since 2011, possibly, uh, possibly 2012. Yeah, and yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, I've got to say, anytime I come here, it's a good experience. Yeah. They, they don't rush you, they're all very friendly. Yeah. Um, the sandwich is always good. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit fussy when it comes to sweets anyway. Um, I feel like when they they did like a Wonka type tea before and I really liked the sweets when they had them then. Uh, you'd get little chocolate bars like made at the hotel and stuff like that. And I also loved the Bumblebee one that they did many years ago. Um, but they've pretty much kept to this theme which is the sweet shop theme um, ever since. And I like the quirkiness. It's wonderful. Do you know, I've got to say, that's one of the best afternoon teas I've been yeah. to. It's, it's definitely up there uh, at the top. It's uh, So let's talk about this thing. So the um, we'll start with the tea. Did you like your chocolate tea? I liked the chocolate tea um, and I also ordered a hot chocolate and I really liked the hot chocolate as well. Yeah. yeah. And I had my fruit salad tea, which was absolutely delicious. I've had it before, but many years ago, so I couldn't remember it. And it was as delicious really really good wonderful palate cleanser i can never say that word uh, but also you can try other teas you don't have to stick to the same yeah. one you can try other teas um and and so yeah do if you are adventurous do try the other teas for sure so the other thing i was gonna say i'm gonna move this just purely because it's aching me arm um as the cactus go back the sandwiches what did you think i enjoyed the sandwiches um my uh, favorites being the egg mayo, the chicken, and the classic, although not so classic over there because they do it on a different type of bread, but classic ham and cheese. What's not to like about ham and cheese? Yeah, and the vegetarian ones are excellent. The, the breads are so interesting. So they've got, the, as you can see, the different colors. They've got the different flavors. The uh, My favorite for me, it was a real toss up between that goat's cheese, but the star for me was definitely, definitely that, um, uh, the peppers and the pesto, that was absolutely amazing. Um, the scones, now I thought they were one of the best scones I've had. The yeah. chocolate is the, that's the best chocolate scone I've out had on an afternoon tea. We've had many before chocolate afternoon, uh, chocolate scones, but that is a really, really light, really fluffy. What did you think? I've got to be honest, I probably would agree with you. Yeah? I probably would agree with the fact that I mean, I like scones, but I feel like they can be heavy on an afternoon mm. tea. 
and when I start to eat the scones, it fills me up a bit too much, so I can't um, uh, eat as much as I perhaps would eat without the scones, let's say. But I've got to say, the, the chocolate um, scones were really good. Where They are really good. Now, this is where Kelly and I do disagree because I really like those cakes. They're some of the best cakes I've ever had in an afternoon tea. You disagree. Yeah. But that's because I do think you're being unfair with them. If you think of it, what, okay, where would have better cakes? Fortnum's. Fortnum's, I would say, was up there. But for them and Fortnum's, I would say. See, the thing is, I feel like, for me, um, that... I don't I didn't for I didn't really like the Coca-Cola one. I didn't really like the um strawberry cheesecake one. I, I you know what it is as well? I don't like gelatin in a cheesecake. Well see now there you go. So if you like if you don't mind sort of jellied ones, you would I, I couldn't try them because they had gelatin yeah. in them. But um I, sorry, I was going to say just, but for the other ones, for me, were absolutely fantastic. I couldn't fault them, really. See, and, and but you love Battenberg, and I don't yeah, like well, Battenberg. See, that's where I think you're being a little unfair, because I think if you don't like the, like, for example, I don't like the rhubarb. Yeah. So I said, well, that's not for me, but I, that's not to say others wouldn't like it. No, I'm not saying that, but also, I, um, I, I, I didn't fit, so I've had Battenberg at uh, Fortnum's before, and it was soft. Yeah, yeah. It was moist. No, people don't like that word, but there it is. But this one wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. I disagree. It, it, it wasn't. See, now we, we, we're not going to agree on this, but I'm going to say for me, overall, that was an absolutely wonderful experience. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I It's one of my favourite afternoon teas. Yeah. It is one of my favourite afternoon teas. However, I, I'm very difficult to please where sweets are concerned. We know this. Okay, fair enough. And so my expectations, and this is, goes for restaurants as well, my expectations are up here. Once I've had really good sweets and everything else, if I taste anything that's that's below, it's not. Do you see? I'm I'm, I'm spoiled. I'm a sweet snob. There I'm you a go. Sweet snob. There you go. Well, uh, the other thing I was going to say, which I quickly reached out for, it is they also thank you so much to them, gave us a bag of sweets each. Mm. So that was very very kind of them. Uh, we also wanted to give a very special shout out to our server Archie, who was absolutely brilliant. She looked after us really really well. She just said to us, uh, and I've got to say, in lots of other afternoon teas we've been to, after two hours they kick us out. So in a very polite way. Yeah. But they do take could you sorry, you you know, we need a table now. We didn't get that here. Chest of all, the she our servers would say, no, that's fine, you take your time, relax. So we were there over two hours. Thank you. I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but no. they were really courteous, really polite. As really many polite. sandwiches as you want yeah. as well. It's it's replenishable. So if that's important to you, this is the place to come. I cannot like I said, we've been coming here. This is probably the longest yes. place that we've been coming to over the years. Like We've been, we've done the Charlie and Chocolate Factory once before. Um, it was very, very. Mark doesn't even remember it. We did it so long ago. Um, and we've done. Um, I said, I would say this and Fortnum's are probably the ones that we've done the most. Yes. Um, um, but I, for the value for money, that you get five star service at. For yeah. an afternoon tea. If you're looking for the experience of afternoon tea, this is the place to come. Definitely. I, I definitely uh, concur with Kelly on that one. This is one of our recommendations. If you can, get to the Chesterfield in London. Fantastic uh, afternoon tea that we've had here. It's uh, just off Barclay Square. So when you get off at Green Park, um, you then sort of go down and it, you have to come out of Green Park Station depending on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. So if it, it's the opposite side of the Ritz side you want to be on the opposite side of the Ritz so if you get out the station and you see the Ritz and the Ritz is across the road that you're on the correct side you turn left and it's the and you come down um, the street you walk all the way down you bear left that's Barclay Square you bear left um, and it's Charles Street did we say Charles Street yeah and uh, the, there's the Chesterfield bit awkward to find but well worth the trip yeah um, sure. and I also want to say uh, just very quickly with Kelly's point about uh, replenishable they really do put the point that it is replenishable we've been to other places where they say it's replenishable they replenish once and then they start moving you on to the other uh, yeah. sweets and stuff they do not do that here they really say to you do you want more do you want more so it's it's they it's, take care of 
really they do take care They're of you really, really nice. so a big thank you to the chesterfield uh definitely a recommendation from kelly and i and there you go well i hope you like that review as always please like share and subscribe i know uh we sound like a broken record but all that stuff really does help the channel yeah uh, and don't forget you can join us on our live chats every tuesday and every friday 6 30 uk time where you can discuss anything you like including the video you've seen today and if you like things like reviews food reviews holidays trips tips and things and you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing okay until next time do look after yourselves do take care and remember you're never too old to have fun we'll see you in the next video bye for now bye for now